great to be with you again for another daily devotion. And today I want to read to you an important and inspiring piece of scripture that has a great deal of theology in it. And it's in Galatians chapter 4, beginning in verse 4. It says, But when the right time came, the right time, God sent his son, born of a woman, subject to the law. God sent him to buy our freedom for us who were slaves to the law so that he could adopt us as his very own children. And because we are his children, God has sent him the Spirit, sent the Holy Spirit of his Son into our hearts, prompting us to call out, Abba, Father. You know, our granddaughter was just with us for a little bit, and she's four and a half years old. And every time I see her, which isn't certainly often enough, I'm always wondering what she'll say when she sees me. Because, I mean, we don't interact with her all that often. But every time she'll say, Grandpa, or Grandpa, you're so funny. And Grandpa is a term that she's used because of our relationship with each other. Now, it's very interesting to me that here Paul is writing, and he says, I want you to understand some things about your relationship with Christ. And one of those is, is that you were subject to the law. In other words, the law, the rule of God, you might say, that we all had broken it. And it was ruling over us. We, were, we, were, we couldn't get free of it. But then Christ came in, and not just being subject to the law, he gives his son to purchase, which is an, just such an amazing word here, to adopt us, to buy our freedom, it says, so that he could adopt us. Now, I've, I know friends that have adopted children. And the interesting thing about those children is that it wasn't just free, at least for the families that I know. They've paid money to be able to adopt. And here in Galatians, Paul is saying, when you look at God, what he's done, he sent his son, Jesus, at the perfect time in the history of the world to buy our freedom so that he could adopt us. And then this is the part that's amazing to me. Not only, and I suppose you could end it right there, but Paul doesn't. He says, and then he sent his Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is at work in our hearts and it is prompting, which is just such an amazing word, prompting within our hearts to say, Abba, Father. In other words, God is at work in all of our hearts about a relationship with him. So he's prompting, the Holy Spirit is at work, always trying to prompt us to realize this incredible relationship we have with God. Something has to prompt that. Now, with my granddaughter, I saw her when she was born, shortly after she was born in the hospital, and she couldn't talk. So we had to, you might say, teach her who I was. She would see me occasionally, but not all that often. But when she did, or when we called, or we FaceTimed, it was always Grandpa. And she would just call me that. God says, well, that's what I do for you. I, I prompt into your heart. I'm putting the Holy Spirit there to prompt you to understand the whole thing that you're understanding here is relationship. The law had me subject to the law. I couldn't keep. So God sent Jesus at the right time to purchase my freedom so he could adopt me and then prompt me all about a relationship, about a father. It's an amazing portion of scripture. I encourage you to read it. It's in Galatians chapter 4, beginning in verse 4 through 7. May it bless you as you reflect on that today. First of all, God wants to have a relationship with us. And that is an amazing thing. Let's pray. Jesus, we thank you for the relationship that we have with our Heavenly Father because of your sacrifice on the cross, which by your death you were able to purchase our freedom so that we could be adopted and the Holy Spirit would set up residence within our heart, prompting us into a relationship word. You are so close and in love with us, and we are grateful. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Well, God bless you. Have a wonderful day in the Lord.